Hey everyone, guess where I am? Yes, I'm down on Spark Street and right in front of retrobikes.ca. So this is so exciting. This is my first live interview in two years for my podcast. A lot of my first episodes started out it as lives on Facebook and then they just morphed into uh, the audio and then the videos went up on um, on YouTube so now uh, since things are opening up I found a place it's new I'm gonna pan over here so it's the Ottawa bike cafe and that's the outdoors so take note everybody if you're in this area that um, on Thursdays and Fridays is happy hour and that means cheap beer from 5 to 7 so we are gonna go inside to meet the owner Jason and get his story and uh, how it all started here I know it's super windy <laughs> all right come on in I'm gonna check it out all right, remember I said it's a cafe, so you're gonna get some special yums. And there we go, here's the brew. Apparently it's super good. These guys, what did I have? I had the ginger beer, that was, that was pretty good. And um, so they refurbish bikes younger than 1970. I think 1970, he said. No. 1990. Anyways, we're going to get his story, and uh, you guys have to come in here and check it out. And over here is the Escape Tours and Rentals, so you can come and rent bikes on Spark Street to go tour the, the city. All right. It's all about perspective. <laughs> yes, and making sure the sun is on our face so we don't see all the... Should we keep our masks on? Or should we incognito? Or how do you feel about it? I think, uh, you know, we're chilling in the corner here. Yeah, well, we can space ourselves out. I'm double boxed. Oh, getting there. Okay. Let me just plug that in. Let me just make sure. Okay. Well, so, Jason, the camera's over there. Don't look at you. <laughs> but uh, you can look at me. You can look at me. So we're going to just go in a chat because I was just saying that it's been a long time since I've done a video interview. Yes. Because uh, I've done, well, I can only do video interviews locally. Right, right. And, but I've been interviewing people globally, like I've been in the UK and Africa. And oh, so that's, kind that's of exciting. And I'm like, I don't mind traveling and all of that. But since things are opening up and I came across this amazing little gem here in Ottawa. I was like, oh, maybe this is the time to start bringing in some local interviews of people who are local. So Jason, I don't have much. I know that, okay, all I know from Jason from the talk, <laughs> talk to him, like. During uh, happy hour. Yeah, during happy hour on Saturday where we came for an amazing sandwich after our 130K ride. Um, that he has had a location on Spark Street for a while, and he's now moved over here. So, Jason, just give us a bit of background of yourself, and and then we're going to get into your story, I guess, or maybe your story and your background, and then we're going to talk about this location and how you guys can... I was just saying out there that happy hour is now... Thursday, Friday, like you mentioned. Yes, and actually now it's Saturday. <laughs> oh, no, so it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, we're constantly evolving and trying to figure out what works and then staffing as well, having people to work, and that's a bit of a challenge. I think it's a challenge for everybody for else. anybody that's in food service these days. Yeah. Um, so, but, you know, we've got some good key people. And uh, I'm going to be doing some of the uh, happy hour service myself. And we know the cyclists <laughs> like to drink. Uh, there's an interesting bike. Oh, yes. It's, it's, uh, this is the one. Yeah, so this is a 1970s Sakin. So this is actually probably a museum piece. Um, a little... It has a full, full uh -oh. um, speedometer, uh, AM radio, signal lights. <laughs> I love uh, that radio. Console shifter right here. Mm -hmm. Five speed. 
uh, disc break from the 1970s oh, yep, on down the front. There. I like, yeah. remember, I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember, but I had a bike with, with one of these on it. That's, yeah, a generator. Yeah, a generator, but so, it was for a light. Yeah, and this is perfectly yeah. uh, powers the lights on this. I don't this. know why they don't do that. Big, it's not, big, crazy, maybe not uh, as cool. It, but it makes you know, sense. You know, the reason they don't do it anymore is because when you come to a stop, the lights turn off. And you want to be visible when you're when you're stopped as well as when oh, you're moving. Oh, do they really? That's right, that's right. Oh. Okay. So that's a fun bike. Um, oh, this one's pretty. Another interesting Doesn't look one. like it's being ridden, though. This looks like a, a... This is like... This is the bell for service. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bell for captain. So that's a 1940s... Um, uh, what's Roadmaster and that's all original, all original that's paint. Really pretty. And again, you know, it was we need a bell at the counter, so let's attach it to a bike. And, uh, that's kind of fun. Right. Right. Yeah. That looks good. All right. Uh, up here the price the is right. Yeah. So there's, so there's an electric bike. So we oh, do sell okay. electric bikes. So that's uh, from Escape Tours and Rentals. Oh, okay. And uh, then we've got Who's some of the bikes that are for sale. These are nice city bikes. They're they're very reasonable uh, and they're very comfortable. To ride. I was just looking at this handlebar here. It's old school. It's yeah. Cool. yeah. So that's just a simple old oops, coaster brake bike. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun to ride. And for somebody that's just mm -hmm. looking for something to uh, ride around the neighborhood and lock right. up and uh, be comfy. And, uh, oh, you got the saddles. Yeah, we've got some locks and saddles, uh, lights, bells, fenders, uh, all those goodies. Uh, uh -huh. Over there to the right is the cider and the wine. Oh, yes. <laughs> don't forget about that. Yeah, don't forget about that. We got some, oh, look at that one. So that's a vintage Lemongi, and that is a fillet braised frame. So the frame is welded up by hand, and then all the joints are polished. And that's called a Look funny bike. The swoop. That's right. Yeah, that's called a funny bike, and that is all about speed. That is really, eh? Very fun to ride. Very fast. So do you take it out regularly? It looks uh, like it's well, up it's there up for a while. There for a while now, but <laughs> yeah. yes, I, I have ridden it, and uh, it's it's almost dangerously fast. Oh. And, uh, nice. Especially for the city. Right. Yeah, and then again, we've got some other nice bikes here. Ooh. Uh, oh, these are fixed feet. No, this no, one. This is, one's is fixed feet. This one here. I'm just looking at the handlebars. Yes, that's a Cambio Reno, and that's Columbus steel. It's Italian steel. Wow. Uh, Campy uh, hubs and oh. crank set. And, Great. And um, this was actually raced on the Velodrome in Montreal by a gentleman named Alan Anderson. Oh, no way. And so we are honored to have that bike here in the shop. So is this... Is this just for show? These like you can't bikes, buy these? these? Are all bikes that are for sale. Here's oh, nice, really? Uh, nice little uh, Bianchi. This one's hey, also guys, um, only fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, nice uh, Bianchi, also uh, with uh, Columbus Chromart uh, Italian steel, and uh, this one's set up with Campagnolo parts as well. Campagnolo. Yeah. But just a second. Okay, so this. When did they change into the thumb shifters? So. Do you, do you have that yeah, info? Maybe, maybe in the uh, 90s, <laughs> 90s. Late 90s. And so this is original with the, uh, the down shifters, tube shifters. Yeah. But we can definitely modify these. In fact, I ride a vintage Miele. It's not here at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I have the, the shifters and the levers. So that's again Resto Mod. So we can take these bikes and we can do anything. Love it, Resto crazy. Mod. So here's another nice one, a cool Miata uh, from the 90s, beautiful, beautiful bike. And uh, again, you know, we'll take a bike and we'll, we'll uh, just have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I almost feel bad that I let go of my Peugeot. I got that in the 90s, like right. 91. Yeah, so those are all bikes that have been uh, fully restored. And are I love the fenders. Fenders. fenders are cool, you know, some of these bikes, you know, like, you know, original cruiser, three speed, in condition, and again, new, new parts, new tires, new brakes, um, and fully guaranteed for a year. You can't go wrong. No, you can't. Uh, this one's kind of fun, it's a uh, single speed right here. Ooh! Um, that's a, a 60s rally. 
Uh, it looks like a little bit of a gravel it's, bike. Yeah, it's a beautiful uh, paint job on it. And, Is that um, something you did? That's original paint. Okay. So what I did was clear coat it. So essentially I put a, a clear over top to preserve the paint. Mm -hmm. And this was a, a road bike with all heavy steel parts. And it was just this big clunky thing. But I saw this beautiful frame underneath. So I stripped it completely bare and turned it into a fixed gear bicycle. That's pretty. And so this is this is your city whip. This is super city. So the only thing original is the frame. All the parts on it are brand new. So we have sealed bottom bracket. We have new crank set, uh, really nice gold pedals. Uh, oh, yeah, brand new wheel set, uh, new brakes, the handlebars, the levers, uh, nice big tires. Mm -hmm. So super fun to ride in the city. Nothing, it, it bounces like a basketball. So oh. nothing rattles, nothing shakes, uh, nothing needs, you just got to keep the chain moving and tight and keep air in the tires. And that's hey, a that's perfect, what I'm all about. Perfect city bike. And, and style. Oh, even I feel like people aren't have in here, but oh my gosh, there you go. <laughs> Retro mod life. That's right. Oh. There's, you know, you have these 80s bikes, but these... Uh, no really interesting paint job. <laughs> oh yeah, the yeah. pink. Here's another one, you know, the, the nice uh, purple. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, the yeah. move. Whoa, love it. Got some great art on the Jeez, wall. Jeez, who the did back. that? So the gentleman goes by Fall Down G on online. Fall Down G. Fall Down G. There you and go. Uh, I gave him a bunch of keywords, and he came in one day, twelve hours. No, yeah. serious. Yeah, and we're really pleased with it. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. It's great to look at. I yeah. mean, like so there's a lot of a great nods. Box background. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of nods to cycling, nods to the city and Spark Street and humanity and people and. Uh, cool. Ooh. 